Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan and I teach IELTS in Lahore. Apart from this, I teach IELTS online as well. I welcome you to my IELTS speaking video. Thanks for watching the previous video and I hope this video will be uh, doing some value addition in your expertise about IELTS as well. So part two is called individual long turn. It's not such a long turn. It's only one to two minutes. But remember when you speak English, when it comes to speaking English continuously and fluently, one minute is such a long time. If you're talking to someone you love a lot on mobile, even the whole night is insufficient. But when you got to speak English, especially for IELTS speaking part two, for some people, not for all of you, for some people, one to two minutes can be such a long time. You start talking and you've said everything and then you see, okay, it's been just 30 seconds. Oh my God. And I thought I spoke for five minutes. Okay. So you got to practice. You should know how much time is there. I mean, you should know, uh, I mean, you should have the feeling that, okay, this much time is one minute now. Now I have spoken for more than one minute. Yes, now I've spoken for almost two minutes and more than two minutes examiner will not allow you. The examiner will stop you there. Anyways, part two, individual long term. It is also called mini presentation. Individual long term or mini presentation, both ways it's fine. Task guide. Now I'm going to guide you about individual long term or mini presentation. In this part of the speaking module, the examiner will ask you to give a short talk or long term. Short talk or long term. A short talk means one to two minutes talk based on a task card. We call it the cue card. Task card, cue card topic card and all that that you will be given all right in speaking part two they'll give you the cue card and they're going to give you pen and paper as well the topic on the card will be general and straightforward one general and straightforward describe a person you like the most you should say and then there are three three points or four points with wh questions describe a movie you once watched describe a shopping mall you often visit Describe a person you meet every day. Describe a book you once read. Describe a, and I can make hundreds of topics even right now. Okay, so it's basically a description, right? Speaking part two, long term uh, mini presentation is basically a description. You got to describe and then there are WH questions. And within the WH questions, you got to see whether it is in present. The WH question is in present, past, future. Sometimes they can be present, one, one statement in present, the second question in past, the third in future, all past, all present, all future. So you gotta be careful with that. So the topic on the card will be a general and straightforward one. There isn't any ambiguity here, you will understand that. You are expected to speak continuously for about one minute minimum. Got it? Yeah, one minute is the minimum limit, two minutes that is maximum and after two minutes examiner will interrupt you and stop you. Okay, the examiner will not ask you questions during your long term. The examiner will look at you and smile and the examiner will look at you with confidence and examiner will give you positive feedback. Whether your speaking test is doing very well or you are doing badly, the examiner will look at you like this and the examiner will nod head like this. Okay, okay. And sometimes some of my students, they misunderstand that. Oh, sir, my speaking test went so well. Even the examiner was so happy. And then they realize after two weeks when they get the low band score, the examiners are always happy. At times they are more happy when you are messing with your speaking test, okay? When you are messing around with your speaking test, they are more happy, okay, okay. Come back to us, huh? pay us more money, we need that, okay? So you gotta be careful. The examiners, they will encourage you. Their looks are encouraging looks, right? They will never let you know whether your speaking test is doing well or you are doing it badly. They will never let you know about that. So the examiner will not ask you any questions, will not interrupt will not say anything. The examiner will only interrupt if you're speaking more than two minutes and then the examiner will keep you quiet. Okay, next. 
the examiner may ask you one or two short easy questions when you have finished your long turn when it is finished in part three examiner will ask you questions and the card you are given describes what you must talk about on the cue card everything is mentioned whatever you're going to explain that is there it is important that you talk about this topic of course describe a person you like the most write the name of the person down and all that stuff the card includes three suggested points now three three suggested points that means you should say you should say and after that there are three suggested points sometimes there are four but mainly there are three suggested points and these suggested points are written with wh questions who where how why what okay when like that these are designed to help you decide what to say so those three suggested questions will actually help you to decide what you're going to say if you do not talk about all of them you will not lose marks if you do not talk about all of them you will not lose marks but it's a good idea to cover all those points which are mentioned there clear so basically that was the task guide i hope you would have understood by now the nature of ielts speaking part two which is called mini presentation or individual long term step by step guide once again i welcome you to step by step guide of ielts speaking part two which is called mini presentation or individual long term now let's see step by step guide i'm going to guide you step by step and you're going to see how you're going to end up getting good bands in ielts speaking part two as well step one take the right approach it's very important to have the right approach for the right bands okay so the long turn is designed to give you the opportunity to show how well you can speak so you got to show them how well you can speak or if you cannot do that please just hide how badly you can speak okay you got to hide it and how will you hide it you will hide it by showing them how well you can speak don't tell them you can't speak tell them you can speak pretend and all that stuff right so show how well you can speak in english on a subject that you are familiar with because that subject is of your own choice describe a person person is of your own choice describe a book book is of your own choice describe a movie movie is of your own choice right so a minute can seem like quite a long time i told you uh, you know <laughs> there are two minutes in ielts speaking part two one minute is for preparation they will give you a minute to jot down some notes about the topic and then you got to speak for one minute minimum these two minutes are magic the first minute which is for jotting down some notes that minute will fly like this like this right you'll be writing some notes and the examiner will say you now have to speak on the topic for one to two minutes and when you are speaking that minute is going to be a long minute okay so same minutes 60 seconds 60 seconds but actually this is what we call the philosophy of time okay that's funny huh so a minute can seem like quite uh, a long time when you are the only person speaking no one else is interrupting no one else is talking just you are speaking so then a minute is going to be a long long time give yourself as much practice as you can for this task you can practice speaking to yourself you can practice speaking to your friends to your teachers to people around you so you can just see you can find another IELTS candidate and you can practice together right uh, because a minute is quite a long time you should use the opportunity to make notes before you start speaking and these notes are basically like the outline notes are the outline and you got to look at that outline and that outline will assist you during your conversation and remember do not stop to read your outline do not stop to read the next part of the topic just you need to go on at the same time you can take a look down there and then add the next sentence and if you stop okay and how much time do you spend then again you might be penalized for fluency and all that stuff so you gotta be careful for that if you make a few notes you will be able to structure your long turn because of the notes you'll be able to speak for one to two minutes step two how should i organize what i say it's another problem you often think that how should i organize my conversation in part two making notes will help you organize what you say 
The notes you make may remind you of useful vocabulary and expressions to use or of facts and points that you want to include in your long term. Write the notes in such a way like they are like the headlines of the newspaper. You look at the headline and you get to know about the whole thing. Right? You know sometimes there are the headings. So write the notes like headings. You look at the note and you know how to explain. Remember in our school life sometimes they used to be the headings and then explanation. Headings then explanation. So write your notes in the heading format. In the heading form you look at that and heading itself will generate ideas. Heading itself will tell you what to say and you look at the heading and you generate ideas and you explain like we used to explain in schools heading and then explanation another heading another explanation another heading another explanation like this you need to write three four headings look at the heading and and, and heading should be short don't write such a long sentence it should be as short as possible do not use any helping verb do not use any article when you are writing your heading right do not use most of the prepositions just use adjectives nouns and uh, adjectives nouns and verbs that's it and you can write the headings clear yes and you look at the heading and heading gives you the idea right there is a there is a thing what do you do together and you've written we played cricket together you look at uh, well actually we often play cricket together because I love playing cricket and my neighbor also likes that that's why every morning when we go to the playground we prefer playing cricket and all that stuff right so you look at the heading and then it gives you the ideas and then you can speak for one to two minutes easily okay yeah some of you've got this problem there are two problems some of you have a problem that you cannot speak for one minute and some of you have the problem that you cannot complete it in two minutes you need more time okay we've got two extremes right yes anyways let's just go on Part 2 example task. Now I'm going to give you an example of a task of part 2 and we're going to see how we are going to read it, how we are going to jot down the notes and all that. Read the topic card below carefully. You will have to talk about the topic for 1 to 2 minutes. You have 1 minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make notes to help you if you wish. Now what's the topic? Describe a party you went to which you enjoyed. All right, if there is anything in real, good, otherwise, birthday party, <laughs> okay, or new year party, or any other party, come on, and don't just think about it, all right, party, I've never been to parties, I don't go to parties quite a lot, people don't invite me to parties, what should I do, now how will I answer this question, I don't go to the parties, what should I do, no, generate the answer, visualize the answer, imagine the answer, Create the answer. I mean, as you read the topic, switch on your imagination. Look at me. Describe a party you went to which you enjoyed. Yes, I went to a birthday party. I enjoyed a lot there. There isn't any party. I'm imagining. I'm visualizing. So you need to visualize. I mean, you might have seen a movie of a part, a, a scene of a party in a movie. Think about that party. And whatever hero did in that party, put yourself in the shoes of hero and there you are, right? So if there is something actually good, otherwise you can imagine, you can visualize or maybe you read about a party somewhere, you saw a scene of a party on TV in a movie somewhere, you can explain that all. But do not waste your time by thinking that, okay, what party should I talk about? That party there I went, but I did not enjoy there. Yes, there was another party I went up there, but that was also a boring party. Now what should I do? Not like that. Not like that. Okay, immediately like this. I mean, you got to answer the question. Okay, I'll talk about party. Yes, yes why not? I enjoy parties very much. You need to talk, okay? So, describe a party you went to which you enjoyed. You should say. Now, what are the suggestions? The suggested questions. Where the party was? Place. You'll talk about the place and you need to add some sentences to that. Now place, you need to write an outline about the place and then when you answer, you need to add something. Why the party happened? Reason. Why the party happened? And again, there should be a little story. Basically, it was the birthday. It was 20th birthday of one of my friends and he was turning 20. That's why he was so excited something like that okay so there should be a story then 
uh, who was at the party you can talk a lot about it who was at the party all my friends or you can say I went to that party with my mom and dad and they were with me and all the parents of my other friends they were also there that's why we did not enjoy it <laughs> or something I mean you need to go on right and explain why you enjoyed the party now you will say something which you could not say before which you did not say before now you're going to say that and you're going to explain why you enjoyed the party now see you need to explain you need to at least talk for one minute one and a half minute not more than two minutes if I'm not going to explain and this is the topic I can do it in few seconds for example describe a party you went to which you enjoyed right I went to my friend's birthday where the party was in his house why the party happened his birthday I told you huh silly fellow don't say that to the examiner okay who was at the party lot of people explain why you enjoyed the party cake was very yummy <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry there shouldn't be anything stupid like this okay you need to make a story there should be ideas should be connected and you know you need to visualize and once you've told the story or while telling the story examiner should also visualize that party you should explain in such a lovely way in such a storytelling way that the examiner should also visualize whatever you say got it okay all right let's go on I'm sorry I'm so funny today now I'm going to show you some notes and the candidates answer and we're going to see how it is actually uh, so look at the notes and candidates answer for each of the suggested points then write your own note and answer for the same point if you want to where the party was note parents house and when you explain you will make a little story actually this party was held at my parents house I live separate from my parents so my parents decided to arrange this party and they said we would do it in our own house so that's why it was actually held in my parents house and that is the house where I spent my childhood got it like this otherwise say where was the party held parents house all right all right why the party happened brother's birthday all right all right who was at the party all family <laughs> okay then <laughs> yeah then you know what band you're going to get yes exactly so now candidate says I remember one party very well it took place at my parents house and that is the same house where I have spent my childhood so there, there are a lot of memories of me with that house okay like this you need to elaborate next why the party happened and the note is brothers 21st birthday and the answer is the party was held to celebrate my brother David's 21st birthday and then you can add some more sentences okay he was quite excited because that was his 21st birthday and all that stuff next who was at the party so the note for that is all family and David's friends or you can say my brother's friends all my family and my brother's friends so you can explain that everybody in my family came some of them traveled from abroad to be there and of course David had invited a lot of friends too but you need to elaborate it a little more remember one minute in order to speak for one minute you need minimum 15 good sentences right 15 good sentences and then go on the normal speed and then you can speak for minimum one minute yes okay why you enjoyed the party now you can write few things why you enjoyed the party so notice what seeing everybody David turned adult or David adult 21 is actually adult so David adult that is I mean why you enjoy the parties you say I enjoyed this party because it made me feel wonderful to be surrounded by all my family and also because it meant that my brother was now a real adult that's why I enjoyed this party got it this is how you got to answer in IELTS speaking part 2 which is called long turn so I hope after watching this video you are 
really crystal clear about IELTS speaking part 2 which is individual long term or mini presentation. All you need to do go through the specimen questions of speaking part 2 take down some notes so that you go through the practice and again I told you write your notes down in headings looking at these headings you should be able to speak you should be able to talk you should be able to continue your conversation and do not stop to read your heading do not stop to look at the question your talk should be continuous talk you can look down and read but do not stop talking your talk should go on there should not be any interruption while you are talking for speaking part two if you like this video, hit on the like button, subscribe my channel and turn on the notification so that whenever I share a video, you will get done and the new video is there waiting for you to watch, right? And also share these videos with your friends, tell all your friends who are taking IELTS test, who are planning to take IELTS test about my videos and don't forget to comment as well because if you comment, then I get to know who you are, where you're from. I don't care who you are, where you're from, as long as you comment on my videos, okay, <laughs> something like that. And I also teach IELTS online. If uh, you want to join my online IELTS classes, I teach myself, okay, I'm not going to give you to any other tutor. I'll teach you myself. My WhatsApp number is given so you can contact me for online IELTS classes as well. Asad Yaqub from Lahore, Pakistan wishes you all the best and I wish you a fantastic band score in IELTS speaking. Take care. Bye-bye.